In today's video, I'm going to show you how a smart BMS reacts to a short circuit. So in a previous video, I explained to you why parallel FS are important for short circuit protect... Short... 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 Short circuit protection. I've got it. But in today's video, I'm going to demonstrate it. So let's briefly go over the testing setup. This is an 8 series 6 parallel lithium iron phosphate based battery pack that has uh, 8 parallel FETs on the BMS that was designed by yours truly, sells at protechnologies.com. This GW Intech GCP300 oscilloscope current probe. This BK Precision 8500 300 watt load that serves no purpose but to be a cool looking base for the HD3 oscilloscope. And of course, the beautiful Keyside HD3 oscilloscope. And if some of you are wondering why the uh, current probe is only going through one of the wires, that was in a previous video that I explained. I will make sure to link that down in the comments below. And with everything ready, let's short the battery pack. And there is our waveform, and you can really see how the cells react um, to being shorted for so long. But this is what I want to show you here, and this last spike is where the FETs actually reacted and started to turn off the FETs. And this is about 450 amps. So that's why it's important to have so many parallel FETs because you have to be able to turn off this amount of current while it's flowing out of the battery pack. 